Okay, so welcome back to the Asmus classroom, but this time to our fourth lesson. This is Moss. I'm a DJ producer, ukulele bass player and teacher, and I'm here to guide you through this beautiful and amazing instrument that ukulele is. Today we're jumping straight forward to one of the most difficult but basic chords that we have, that is the G major chord. So enough of the talking, let's go. We will add one more chord. And before we add that chord, let me tell you that this is one of the most complicated at the beginning and can have and can cause a little bit of a trouble. So it is no problem really if you can't play it right away, you know, it'll take time. For some people it takes a month, for some people it takes a few days, for some people it is instantly okay to play it with no problem. So really don't feel frustrated with this uh, because even the people that can play it right away need time to improve it and make it sound better, okay? So here we go. This will be our G major chord, right? And this will depend of three fingers. We will use our index, middle finger and ring finger. What we are going to do is to place our middle finger on the second fret of our first string. Then we're going to place our ring finger on the third of our second string. And then we're going to place the index finger on the second but on the third string. It looks like this. In this case, the grabbing of the hand will change a little bit because we will no longer have our hand like this because the fingers have a natural positioning and will be more comfortable if they are placed like this. Like, let's uh, say for example that they trace kind of a diagonal here when before we had our knuckles pointing upwards, you know, but now they trace a line like this. So, the chord will sound like this. String by string would be. Okay. So, there's a lot of things that will happen here. It is really a complicated chord. So again, don't feel frustrated or desperate because you can't play it. One of the things that can happen is that you need to be have a little bit more strength with your hand. Another one can be that you're playing it with your knuckles right looking upwards. So this will happen. This string won't sound good because your finger doesn't have space and it's because of this middle finger here. And you can and in order to do this comfortably you will need to rotate your wrist and again it's your wrist not your arm not your elbow not at all you know like it's a movement like if you do it do a fist like this and then you place it like this okay it's not that I do this okay so it'll be like having it like this to move it like this check that my elbow isn't moving at all you know my elbow is at the same place it's not that I'm doing this so how do we practice this chord there are many ways of practicing it and there are so many exercises that we can do but a few of them will be these two that I'm going to tell you one is to really first understand how it is uh, built you know so it's kind of a little triangle in between the frets that you have to press and play. So once you learn that, then it's just taking your fingers there, you know. That's why it's so important to watch all the time the ukulele. It's super important, you know. And that's why we aren't focusing on this hand right away. So once we have it, 
and we check that all the strings are sounding correctly, what we'll do is just take our hand off, okay, and then place it back. Then take our hand off. Place it back. Okay? Because that'll give the sensation of coming from another chord that that's mostly what we are going to do okay the second exercise that I can give you is to place it after the C major chord why is this? you might have noticed that I played my C chord with three fingers let's say like this I'm pressing this one but these fingers are still there. Why is that? If I have to go to a G chord, then my ring finger will just have to move up. And this finger will be in its place for the G chord. So now I just have to add this one to the equation, you know. So then it is even easier to play it because I always say that fingers are kind of the problematic of playing the ukulele and basic chords so if we resolve one of those problems then we have to take care just of two fingers not three and that's a lot it is like a hundred percent of the problem like playing the, the whole G to the 66 percent right because it'll be two fingers the problem then it's almost a half of it, so it is a lot. So, what I do is to play C major, then move to G without moving or taking this finger off, you know. If you find it difficult to do this at the beginning, what you can do is just move this finger, you know, like, and, and really you don't have to strum, like, you can just concentrate on moving the ring finger up with this one still there and taking it down again. When this movement becomes a little bit more natural, the other finger will be easier to play because you'll have two fingers naturalized so then you just have to add one so it'll be like okay so now a more advanced exercise that we're going to do is to play C major G major A minor and F major then we're going to start all over again and repeat those Okay, so I do it slow so you have time to change from one to the other. Okay, so it'll be like Okay, so that G chord was a tough one, right? I know it's complicated at the beginning, it takes time, so one has to be patient. So, see you on the next video, and hope you have a great and amazing day.